If you've only ever watched the Naruto anime and you decide to start reading the manga, you'll soon realize that in chapter 1 and in the beginning of Naruto, the art style is quite different from the anime. However, as you keep on reading Naruto, eventually the art style gets very similar to what you're used to watching the anime. And this is something I don't really see a lot of people talking about. Yes, the Naruto art style in the manga has undergone a lot of change, and there are reasons for that. Reasons that we'll be exploring in this video. But before that, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and ring the notification bell if you like my content. The art style Masashi Kishimoto chose for Naruto in the beginning of the manga was more cartoonish, more exaggerated, and a little more abstract than the art style that Naruto ended up with in its last chapter. If you put a page of the initial chapters next to a page from one of the last chapters of Naruto, you'll clearly see that there's a big difference. This was no mistake done by Kishimoto, this was very much intentional. What sparked this change in the art style in the manga was the release of the Naruto anime. Even though the art style in the anime and the character designs and all that were a little different than the manga, Kishimoto really liked how the Naruto anime looked, and he decided to actually take that art style and introduce it into the manga of Naruto. However, this was not done only because Kishimoto liked the way his characters looked. This had other reasons as well. First, animes are usually more popular than manga, so having the characters in the manga look more like they do in the anime would make it easier for people to recognize the characters and buy the manga more. Especially people that got introduced to the series by the anime and that may get a little turned off if they see that the manga has a different art style to the one they are used to in the anime. It's not as though the characters don't look like the anime characters in the beginning of the manga, but it certainly had a different feel to it. Another reason for the change is that the characters are a little simpler in the anime and therefore they are easier to draw. This was obviously done on purpose by the animation studio that simplified the character designs a little bit to make animation easier and more affordable. We all know how difficult drawing manga is, you have to draw a chapter a week, 20 pages, and you have to essentially do it every single day for 22 hours in order to deliver those chapters in time. So having slightly simpler designs will save you time and make the entire drawing process easier. So Kishimoto had the same reasons as the anime studio as to why he would change the character design. The characters lost a little bit of that cartoonish feeling that they had in the beginning of the manga in exchange for a more realistic look. Of course, they are still manga characters, they don't look photorealistic, but they look more like real people than they used to in the beginning. Some people say that the change made the Naruto manga less artistic, but I wouldn't really call it that. The characters still look very good and Kishimoto still uses his strengths in order to make a very good manga. In the beginning, the characters, they didn't really look too realistic. And some people prefer that. They also lost many of those exaggerated faces for comedic value that Kishimoto liked to use in the beginning of the manga. Naruto didn't close his eyes nearly as much. Remember in the beginning of the series when Naruto had his eyes constantly closed? This is an artistic choice that makes the character endearing, easygoing, and happy usually when he has his eyes closed for no reason. However, with the more realistic tone that the art style took, having the eyes closed constantly wasn't really something something that would fit. The character drawings also got cleaner, they're more homogenous, and they don't have as much distortion to them as they used to have in the beginning. Even though after Kishimoto changes his art style to the one that resembles more the art in the anime, he begins to experiment with different angles and also different paneling, and he actually does a lot of interesting things after he changes the art style, especially when it comes to the more impactful moments in the series. He manages to give a lot of weight to the emotions characters are feeling, and his action scenes improve even more. Now, he wasn't bad at any of those things in the beginning, but my theory is that when he changes his art style to something that was a little bit simpler to draw, he had more time or he could focus more on experimenting on those other types of things, such as the angles the characters show up on panel and just the paneling itself. Another thing that changed quite a lot in the art style were the backgrounds and essentially the way Kishimoto drew the environments and buildings. Now, to be fair, this is mostly done by his assistants. You know, the mangaka, the main author of the series, usually has plenty of assistants helping him so that the process can be faster, because otherwise it's pretty difficult. The main author is almost always going to draw the more important scenes and the characters that are in the foreground, but if you don't have any assistants, uh, your mug's gonna look 
pretty bad. Just look at Boruto. The Boruto artist draws the entire thing by himself, and you may say, oh man, he is really dedicated to the manga. Props to him. No, this is not a good thing, because it clearly affects the way the art looks. The Boruto manga looks pretty awful, and if you compare it to the Naruto manga, it doesn't even come close. Anyway, backgrounds are usually done by the assistants, as well as background characters and stuff like that, but of course at the art style and the overall feeling of the backgrounds will be given by Kishimoto. He will tell his assistants how he wants the backgrounds to be drawn. In the beginning of the manga, they were very different. There was an element of abstraction to the backgrounds. They weren't as clean, and they were a little bit more chaotic. They weren't bad, it's just that the feeling was very different. Later in the manga, the backgrounds become very realistic. We can see that in trees and buildings and every type of thing that Kishimoto used for backgrounds that things just simply changed. Now, I'm not saying that the backgrounds at the beginning of the manga were all completely crazy. No, I'm just saying they were different. They weren't drawn with as much care. And this is not saying that they were drawn poorly. It was an intentional choice to make the backgrounds a little bit more abstract so that you could focus on the characters. But Kishimoto decided to change that as well as the manga went along. And the crazy thing is, as you read the Naruto manga, you don't really realize that the changes are happening because they're pretty subtle. Kishimoto decided to slowly change the art style during the search for Tsunade arc. He didn't do it at once because that would have looked jarring. He slowly but surely began to make those alterations. And then when we get to the Sasuke retrieval arc, we are already at the art style that we are most familiar with, the art style that's related to the Naruto anime, and the style that the Naruto manga will continue to have until its last chapter. And then when you contrast the first chapter of Naruto to the last chapter of Naruto, you'll see that it's very, very different. And of course that it's difficult to maintain the same exact art style throughout the entire manga, especially if your manga has 700 chapters and you drew it over 15 years. But in most manga, this is usually due to the mangaka getting more experience and learning to draw better. Or in the cases where the art style gets worse because the mangaka is getting burned out because Shonen Jump forces them to work 69 hours a day to make the manga work and it's not just not a very good business model, man. Now, I'm not saying that Kishimoto didn't improve over time as he drew Naruto, because of course he did. However, the change in the art style was something he did on purpose. It was not something he was just improving upon. It was a very conscious decision by Kishimoto, and I just think it's very interesting that he saw the anime and he liked it so much that he thought, oh, maybe I should do that. Yeah, that's that sounds good. Yeah, look, look at that. It looks good. And this is not really a secret. Kishimoto did a lot of things in the Naruto manga only because of the anime. And by the way, if you have haven't read the Naruto manga, I definitely recommend you to do so because honestly the manga is better than the anime. And if you have read the manga, I would like to know if you prefer the earlier art style or the later art style. This is totally subjective and it completely depends on your taste. Personally, I prefer the later art style because it's the one I was introduced first when I started reading Naruto. The series was already adopting that type of art style and that's the one I'm used to. But I still like the earlier art style too. Watch this other video right here for more entertaining content. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.